This video is sponsored by So Sick Clothing. Use code TOMORROW at checkout to save 15% and support the channel. Link in the description. What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more Hitman 2. This is an achievement slash trophy guide in the new DLC map, New York or the Bank or the Golden Handshake, whatever you want to call it. But this is the gold account which requires you to complete the mission on Master Difficulty. On top of that I'm going to also be doing this as a sniper assassin, as a silent assassin, and as well as not changing into any other disguises besides my normal suit. So you will level up a bunch by using this technique. Let's hop on in. So obviously we're going to want to load up the golden handshake and then in our loadout for our planning phase we want to make sure to bring a briefcase with us and a silent sniper. Don't bring a pistol or any kind of concealed weapon and make sure that you have a lockpick with you as well just in case. So from the beginning here we're going to want to make our way downstairs towards the vault and we actually can't get through without being frisked so that's why we're not going to bring any kind of concealed weapon and in order to get our sniper rifle through the frisk zone what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna throw our briefcase this will cause one of the guards to come over here and check it out and then they'll bring it to a safe room that's located past the frisk area which we can actually access a little bit later on so now come down here, get frisked, and then just wait in order to get through to the next area. Now if this guard is taking too long to come over here you can always lock pick the door but once you make it through this door just squeeze against the wall because there is a camera right above that corner. Head into this IT room and grab this tranquilizer gun and then lock pick this room in order to get to the server room. From here we're going to actually disable a security system which will cause two different security guards to come in here. We'll be able to knock both of them out and put both of them in this little box right here. With those two guards incapacitated, we're going to go right ahead and turn the security system back on so nobody else comes down here to check out what's going on. And then we want to go and grab our sniper rifle and the suitcase from the safe room right across the hall. Watch out for the camera and make sure you have enough time to lockpick the door before the camera comes back. And then just go ahead and grab your sniper out of the briefcase and take the briefcase with us. Don't worry about carrying it on your back. Nobody is going to notice you through this area. As you come over here towards the vault, once we go in here, we're going to turn right and head into the security room. And we're going to throw our briefcase at the security guard who is far away and then just choke out the security guard who is right next to us. This tactic should work just about every time. I had some issues trying to knock out the first guard and then throwing the briefcase at the second guard. So definitely be sure to take out the first guard after the second guard, if that makes any sense. Anyways, from here, after we clean up this room and we grab this key, we're going to be able to disable the security system or the surveillance system. So there will be no more cameras that we have to worry about throughout the area. And then with the key that we picked up off the ground, we'll actually be able to open this lockbox to the left, which will give us the master key, which will then unlock the vault. So go ahead and head on to the vault, and I'll see you in there.
Now that we've made it into the vault, we want to go ahead and grab the data core after turning off the security system. And you want to throw the data core inside of your briefcase. Otherwise, if anybody notices you with it, you will immediately be attacked on site and so on. We're going to take this in the briefcase with us up a couple floors until we get kind of close to our main target. So just follow along with where I'm going and I'll meet you guys up on about the second floor. Now that we're up here, go ahead and drop your briefcase right there and then you're going to want to fidget with this radio so that you turn it off and then turn it back on or on and off, whatever. Anyways, once the janitor comes down here, we're going to want to take him out because he will notice our suitcase and it gets him far enough down the hall that we can knock him out without anybody noticing. The only reason why we need to knock him out is because it's harder to walk past him or sneak past him. So it's just, this is an easier way to go about doing it. So after knocking him out, go ahead and grab your briefcase and then follow along with the path. At this corner, you're going to want to wait for the security guard and the guy in the sweater to be looking over in that area like they were. Head into this room, throw the briefcase over in that corner, and eventually this security guard will come in, knock him out, and hide his body. And then just wait for the sweater guy to be looking away again so that you can get out of this room and continue upstairs. Once up here, we're going to have to head to the right over into this room, and we want to make sure that these two guys do not notice us too much. There will be a little bit of ooh and ah as they are interested in you, but you won't stick around long enough for them to become too suspicious and want to chase after you. Head through this door, and then you're going to just make your way up here, up these stairs, and as you get up here, you're going to come into a secretary area just outside of Athena's office. If you head to the left and then jump over this plant, you should be able to get to the room that is just behind the secretary and make your way into her office. As you make your way into her office, I would recommend using your one save for master difficulty, as we are going to get a little dirty in this room. As we head in here, we're going to have to wait for her to finish a conversation on the phone, and then eventually she will leave the room. With our tranquilizer gun, we only have two bullets. We're going to knock out these two guards who stay in the room, and we need to be quick about this so that after knocking out the first one, the second one doesn't turn around and notice. So after knocking them out, you should be able to drag both of their bodies and hide both of their bodies and also pick up their guns and anything else that they drop. After hiding both bodies and cleaning up the room, go ahead and hide behind this little table thing. I don't even know what it is. But eventually our target will come out of the room and walk right past us. And her security guard will kind of lag behind. This will give us our chance to take him out without any issue. And go ahead and hide his body and pick up all his things. After hiding his body, it's time to snipe our target. I decided to go over to the opposite side of the room where we started so that I didn't accidentally shoot her through the glass or anything like that. And I shot her right at her desk, and that is our sniper kill. It's not exactly fantastic or anything like that, but it does count as a sniper kill. And before leaving, I almost forgot. You want to go back over to her, and she will have a CEO key. And it's kind of hidden under her desk because of how I killed her. So it's going to take me a moment here to get it. But eventually I will get it. And what this allows us to do is go into the room that she was in earlier. 
and pick up a key which will let us get to a special exit that is just downstairs so we don't have to run all the way back through the bank and go through all the different security guards and everything else. So if you pick up this key card right here, you'll be able to take a new exit which is just outside of her office. So head back, grab your data core, and make your way towards the exit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share if you heard all that fun junk, check down the description below some likes, some awesome things, my Twitter, Instagram, my Mixer channel, my other YouTube channel where I do real life sports predictions and video games like FIFA and Madden, and a bunch of other things. Keep it here for more Hitman 2, especially when more DLC drops for this, for more achievement slash, shelby slash collectibles guides, and a bunch of other things. Until tomorrow, ta-ra.